following that monumental Supreme Court ruling. Women in at least eight states can no longer get a legal abortion. Many more states are expected to outlaw or severely restrict the procedure in the months ahead. Now, that would establish an abortion-free zone stretching for thousands of miles in the middle of the country. Meanwhile, the latest CBS News poll shows that a solid majority of Americans, 59%, do not like this high court's decision. They disapprove of it. That includes nearly 7 in 10 women. Also, a majority, 52% in our poll, say that reversing Roe v. Wade is a step back for America at large. Jan Crawford is outside the Supreme Court for us. Uh, Jan, good morning to you. We mentioned the shock, the outrage, confusion. What happens now? Well, good morning, Tony. You know, in overturning Roe versus Wade and letting states uh, decide how they're going to handle it, we now have a patchwork of laws. So the right to an abortion depends on the state that you live in. Abortion has been one of the most divisive issues of our time, and we saw those divisions on full display across the country. My body, my choice! Protests erupted across the country after the Supreme Court's historic ruling to end the constitutional right to an abortion. Hell no, we don't need Roe! With the ruling, at least eight states have placed near total bans on abortion, and within months, it could be illegal or severely restricted in almost half the states in the country. A victory for the rule of law, and above all, a victory for life. In Illinois Saturday, former President Trump celebrated the news and the three conservative justices he nominated to the court who voted to overturn Roe. Those prayers have been answered to the generations of Americans in the pro-life movement as well as countless constitutional conservatives. Democrats warned of the impact in states with already high maternal mortality rates and children in poverty. This is not just a crisis of Roe. Mm -hmm. This is a crisis of our democracy. Forcing women to carry pregnancies against their will uh, will kill them. Republican governors like South Dakota's Kristi Noem say they are prepared to help women with more support and new programs, while also working to stop women from getting abortion pills through the mail. In South Dakota, we've already had a bill passed that said on telemedicine abortions that we don't believe it should be available uh, because it is a dangerous situation for those individuals uh, without being medically supervised by a physician. Democratic governors where abortion will remain legal said their states will welcome all women for abortions, while others said they would work to make sure it's legal. This is a fight like hell moment. We are taking, using every tool we have to fight for reproductive rights for Michigan women. Meanwhile, confusion and concern about how the ruling might impact other rights in light of Justice Clarence Thomas's separate opinion, which no other justice joined, calling on the court to reconsider cases on contraception and gay marriage. A majority of Americans say they think it's likely that the Supreme Court will limit same-sex marriage and access to birth control. Gay marriage, contraceptives, all these things until they just strip us of all our rights. Even though the court's majority said it is hard to see how we could be clearer that those cases are not threatened because abortion is different, because they wrote it involves another life. Now, over the weekend, the protests remained largely peaceful, and this isn't the end. I mean, the court in coming days is going to rule on other divisive issues, including religion in schools and climate change. Vlad? This is not over yet. Jan, thank you very much.